<laughs> Daniel Powder's Bad Day topped the charts. Hannah, Hannah Montana debuted on the Disney Channel, and Katie Couric joined CBS. Okay, this all happened in 2006. Also that year, the Omaha Roller Girls formed, playing their first game at Skate Days. They've grown into a few new homes since now at Ralston Arena. All right, here this morning, we got the All Stars. Crash Heartless is here. Uh huh. Rylan Gottesling uh -huh. and Skady Sharp is an official down there. Good to Your see you. Your first trip, welcome back to the two of you. It's yeah, good to see you. you. Yes. This don't hurt me today, all right? I've done a lot of bad things to me over the Do you years. Hear what she Let's, said? What? We make no promises. Great. Thanks, a lot. <laughs> So, you're going to open this new season. How are we going to do this? With a bang. Uh huh. Uh -huh. When is it? Excited. Yes, this Friday. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. doing a Friday night game. Who's coming in, Rylan? We're playing No Coast, so uh -huh. from Lincoln. Uh -huh. They're like Derby sister rivals. So. Since, since the, yeah, it's, in, well, it's an in-state deal. Yeah. So it, it is your closest they're, thing to And they're one. troublemakers too, aren't they? Are they troublemakers? <laughs> they're lovely. They're, oh, come on. Let's get the he talk. He wants you to talk to us. Big sister, little sister. Yeah. They started right before us, so we had uh -huh. to go over there and learn the ropes from them. Our mm -hmm. first expo was against them. Mm -hmm. We did a mixed team with a red and blue, and we got to skate with them. The next mm -hmm. time we skated against them, and it went very differently. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you expect to win as you open, open up the season? We always hope to win. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, when, you, when you said little sister, big sister, it reminded me of Michigan State, Michigan, and that really mm. became a lot like yeah. locker room stuff where they said, we're not your little brother. I didn't know <laughs> yeah, which one you were. But there. the thing about both, well, both Lincoln and Omaha, I know because I was in Lincoln when they started in Lincoln as well, mm -hmm. and then Omaha yeah. when you guys started here. It seems like you guys have this this connection, both teams, with their fans. Mm. Um, what is it about the fans that support uh, roller derby? They're essential. <laughs> We've got some really good fans, mm -hmm. and they support us, and we appreciate that so much because it's not as fun to play roller derby if no one's watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And they're, they're high energy. Yeah. Right? They bring signs. They get really into it. And Big loved, faces. And, hey, yeah. Rylan, when, when the kids come, too, I feel like that takes it to a different place. When you see mm -hmm. them on their feet getting, getting pumped here and you on, where they get it. Yeah, and it's cool because like we are very family-friendly and family-oriented. Mm -hmm. And it's the juniors, we started juniors like twos, so like mm -hmm. those, those kids that are watching us grow up to skate and then uh -huh. they can become us. Uh -huh. So that's kind of cool. But 10 years ago when this team got started, what were the expectations then? I mean, uh, did you anticipate that you guys would be this big of a draw and continue after a decade? We mm. hoped, but we didn't know. Uh, it, was, it was a rocky first couple years. It's hard to recruit here. Lincoln had a million people coming out, it seemed like, and yeah. we still had like seven, and we were like, we want to play right, against we people, break we don't through. have a team. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we've come leaps and bounds. I mean, we still have recruits coming, and that's awesome. We said boot camp, but, yeah, we didn't we didn't know. Mm -hmm. So it's awesome yeah. to still be around. Derby mm -hmm. as a whole. Right? Yeah, we did the last up. 10 years. Like, we're on ESPN3, so. Right. right. And, <laughs> and one of the things we it. didn't know were the rules, but over the last few years, <laughs> uh <-huh>. you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys have explained this That's to right. us. You've done some demonstrations for us. We, we have a better understanding. Mm -hmm. But what's the major concept of roller derby? Um, the major concept, wow. I um, wasn't prepared for that one. <laughs> I, I know that. I, Mike asks uh, the hard question. That's his job. I've been in the business it's, a while. You've got to be prepared well, yeah, for with me. With the time allotted, and you, know, you don't want to get too technical. Uh -huh. But you know, as far as the officiating, and a, a lot of our goals is to let the skater skate mm -hmm. and to, you know, make sure that it stays fair and it stays safe mm -hmm. um, because you know that's what everybody's there to see mm -hmm. and especially you know safety issues and you know we're keeping an eye on things like that so, so. It, it, is it a matter of like you try to pass people you try to knock them over what's the the crux Not of the sport <laughs> <laughs> Rylan. Um, well, you, are, you do try to pass try people to score, to points. score points. Yeah. You know, there's the initial pass, mm -hmm. and then the jammer. We don't have a jammer star right now. Right. So uh, the, the jammer's the one with the star. So exactly. if somebody's coming to the season opener, look for somebody with that bonnet yep. on their helmet. The jammer. They're scoring yep. the yes. points. And, yeah. They're, yeah. You know, and as they pass people, they're, they they score points. So it's not like basketball where anybody who's on the court can score. No. no. Only designated people yes. on the team can score. Only the jammer scores. And the mm -hmm. blockers the want to help their own yes. jammer score. So we're blocking for our jammer. We're trying to stop the other team's jammer so they don't score. Okay. Yeah, there's so a lot it's, of offense it's, defense. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. And it's the same time. It's not one team playing offense. No, and there's a lot yeah. of strategy uh -huh. that goes exactly. in and, and proper technique. Let's yeah. Teach us some techniques and moves. What do you got for us today? It's like this. All right. Stuff. A lot of stuff is changed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We've moved you, into a lot of like backwards skating. Mm -hmm. and Why is a lot, that? Uh, well, the, the game has evolved. The mm -hmm. the the like if she's behind me and she's an opponent, I can't see her as well if I stay like this. Right. So if I can't feel her either, if I turn around, then I can see where she's going and I can uh, yeah. kind of catch her So again. in that case, so in that scenario, you're skating backwards mm. to try to defend her better. Right. Have you thought about putting like rear view mirrors? <laughs> Is that, would that be allowed if you could change pretty rad. and have something <laughs> like mounted on the side of the helmet and just give it a look mm -hmm. and you know what's going on. When did the backwards skating start? 
Um, it's kind of been trickling in. Mm -hmm. Like it's not, you know, it's not a thing that everyone's doing, but it, it is beneficial. You mm -hmm. know, it changes things up. You can build stronger walls if you have one going the other way and then everyone else building around them because, mm -hmm. you know, if they're my wall, I can keep them in place and I can tell them what's happening behind them and I can help like move them and fortify mm -hmm. them. So in, in soccer, for example, there you can't use your arms. Mm -hmm. So in your sport, are there certain body parts you can't use or certain things you can't do? The rules have actually developed more like where it's, you're able to use them a little bit more, but mm -hmm. not to the point where it's aggressive or like causing... Right, you're not allowed you to can't, kick you can't, people. You can't throw elbows? People. Can you throw I elbows? No. no. Can, you, can you trip people? Still no. Still no, no one tripping. tripping. That'll get you expelled. Yeah. Um, well, you can <laughs> hit check. You can Skate hit check. Right? Yes. 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 Don't do that. So there is, a, as, as Rylan said, this is a sport where they love to see kids. So they make this offer available to local scouts, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts. You can mm -hmm. buy one, get one free, not just for the season opener, but that offer is good throughout the season. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, guys, how can our viewers get tickets to come see you? We have a whole bunch of pre-sales that go on where yep. us actual skaters sell. Um, you can go to the box office, the mm -hmm. ticket office. Um, That's it. Online. So the Ralston mm -hmm. Arena. OmahaRollerGirls.org is a website you can go to. Can you purchase tickets there or do you have to go to the arena box office? There's a link. Link. There's a yeah, link. There's it. a link there. Just you can link it. Okay, so season mm -hmm. dates. Um, you're looking at the full season there. Uh, good luck on the season opener here coming up, guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get this. Do this. Yeah. Thanks, Riley. Uh, Thanks, guys. No, I guess, oh, no, please don't hip chat. Uh, yeah. I guess <laughs> the morning <laughs> when start their day.